hello, I got some statistics from the developer. And here are the win rates of different starting specialists. And the Rhino spec is the highest, which is uh, of no, no surprise to me. I've been saying this for like the past four months that the Rhino spec is the best one in the game. But uh, what is surprising to me is that the choose rate is so low, only only 17 percent like that's crazy people haven't realized at all how good it is and by the way these statistics are from high level players 1800 mmr plus and i think they are from the the recent patch so not that many statistics and uh but i guess because the choose rate is so low the win rate is probably a little higher than it should be because this indicates people only pick the specialist with the best starting unit packs and uh, I think the aerial spec which is the second one with 54% win rate it's like a big anomaly right now because the, the rate is so broken and people are picking aerial specialists just to do a rate push so that's why it's high. It, it, I think it used to be like very bad specialist. But uh, the rate will be nerfed in the next patch, I believe. And we shall see after that. It might be a little bit better, the aerial spec, what like uh, after the rate is nerfed than it used to be because the boats have all have been buffed in the recent patch as well and the aerial spec range buff is uh, quite high to the high impact on the raids so it might be really relevant after the next patch also we shall see and then there is the economy specialist supply specs and cost control and uh, the supply spec is the easiest one of these specialists to play, by the way. The cost control is a lot harder. So although the cost control has a lower win rate, it's, it's hard to determine, I think, which one is actually better. Like the cost control is a lot harder to play, I think. I will make a separate guide in the future on how how to play each of these specialists so i'm not gonna go into that right now then there's the heavy armor specialist which is at 49 percent win rate uh, this this surprised me a lot i think there's uh two factors affecting it one that the pick rate is only 14 percent so people are only picking the good unit packs with it so it bumps up its win rate by quite a lot i would imagine and the second one is that the sledgehammers are quite good now and the heavy armor spec has always been really strong with the sledgehammers and then there's the giant spec it's uh, right where i i would believe it would be like under the supply and cost control but the pick rate is crazy, like people think this is some kind of super specialist, but, but it really is not. It used to be a lot better, but it is a solid one. Then there's the elite one. And uh, maybe, maybe the elite is a lot better now than it used to be, I don't know. It also has a quite a low pick rate, just as the marksman spec and quick supply and speed spec. So people are picking good openings, but they are doing it with uh, other low-level specialists as well. So they are kind of comparable. I'm really surprised that uh, Elite is beating Marksman Spec and Quick Supply here. And I'm uh, surprised that the Quick Supply is this low. I would rate the Quick Supply better than the Marksman Spec and better than the Elite Spec and better than the heavy armor spec and the speed spec is 
has always been really bad. So no, no surprise there. Then we have the different unit packs. Uh, and as, as you can see, all the arc light packs are uh, on the bottom of the win rate. Remember when I did the rat rules for success video? That had a rule that you always need to pick a starting specialist with chaff. Well, this is exactly why. And the crawler packs are, are on the top of the win rate here. And I've always liked the crawlers. I It felt like to me like the crawlers were always the, the best packs, but uh, I never kind of understood stood why. Maybe they are more just more versatile in the start, and it uh, the fangs unlock a lot of good options for the enemy. Like they, if you start with fangs, it unlocks mustangs and storms, which are which are used in uh, a lot of good compositions. And uh, the phoenix is the the highest win rate one. It's very strong and on turn one you can. Uh, you win the round most of the time with the Phoenix. It's very st strong round two with jump drive. If the enemy needs to build anti-air. If he has fangs, he can put the fangs on the back. So you just kill, kill the fang with your crawlers and then the enemy has no anti-air left. It's a, it's a strong pack, I can see it. Same as the Stormcaller one. But I'm a bit surprised that the Crawler's Sledge has such a high win rate because the when you start with Crawler's Sledge, the, your specialist has very few hit points. So if you don't play a tempo game, you might lose, lose very hard to some cards or uh, some good pivots from the enemy. So, but yeah, I don't have a a lot of say about these packs. It's just you need to pick chaff, and crawler seems to be much better option than the fang. The crawler mustang is is also actually quite high. I think it's a really bad pack to start with, same as the marksman mustang. I've been trying a lot with them. So I can have more variety in my specialist with uh, Assault Marksman, but they haven't been that good to me. So that's it. I will put the tables side by side here so you can uh, view them. And uh, if we look at these win rates, you can see that the starting units are affecting the win rates like a lot. So prioritize the starting units and not the starting specialist is my advice i guess and pick the ones with uh, with chef thanks for watching